Energy Cabinet Secretary Charles Keter and his petroleum counterpart John Munez have today snubbed Senate summons over fuel prices. The two cabinet secretaries have been summoned by Senate speakers Ken Lusaka to appear before the Senate and explain the reason behind the increase in the prices of fuel. Keter dismissed the summons, saying the matter was not under his docket, but that of his counterpart John Munez. Let us look at the report. Password to standing orders number 48A, subsection 1. In what looks like a disrespect to the upper house after they failed to appear before the Senate, senators have come out to condemn the actions taken by Energy Cabinet Secretary Charles Keter and his petroleum counterpart John Munez for failing to honor the summon by the Senate Speaker Kenneth Lusaka. Speaker Ken Lusaka had directed Keter and Munez to appear before the upper house after the government removed subsidies on petrol, diesel and kerosene. The Cabinet Secretary John Munez of Petroleum and his energy counterpart Charles Keter were a no-show in the Senate after being summoned to explain the fuel prices which have skyrocketed. In a GCS, Charles Keter said fuel matters were not in his docket. The reports indicate that Keter declined the invite, saying the matter falls under Munez. Senators who showed up for the committee of the whole house on Tuesday accused the two cabinet secretaries of contempt with some prescribing a fine of not less than one million shillings. To the best of my knowledge, Mr. Speaker, we therefore humbly petition prayer that the National Assembly through the Departmental Committee on Energy does the following. One, conducts a public inquiry on reasons behind the high increase of petroleum products in Kenya, including the LPG, that is the liquid petroleum gas, that includes the imported process, overheads refinery cost per liter, per barrel, Keter declined to appear, saying the matter is within the scope of the Ministry of Petroleum. Munez wrote to the Senate, asking for a postponement citing engagement in foreign travel. The meeting convened under the auspices of the Energy Committee, headed by Nyeri Senator Ephraim Maina, was to probe the rise of fuel prices by an average of 9.5 from September 14th. The move by the two cabinet secretaries to give the meeting a wide berth sparked fury from senators who accused them of being insensitive and threatened to sponsor censor motions to have them removed from office. Senators Mutula Kilonzo of Makweni, Ledama Olekina of Narok, nominated Senator Petronila Were and James Orengo of Siaya castigated the CSS and called for stiff penalties to be instituted against them. Orengo told the committee that Kenyans were angry with parliament over the fuel prices and noted that the country was blaming lawmakers over the punitive fuel costs that were released by EPRA. The Dama called on Parliament to institute a motion and impeach Keter. The Energy Petroleum and Regulatory Authority, EPRA, had increased the petrol price by 7 shillings and 58 cents per litre, diesel by 7 shillings and 94 cents per litre, and kerosene by 12 shillings and 97 cents per litre. In Nairobi, residents will part with 134 shillings and 72 cents for a litre of super petrol, up from a previous 127 shillings and 14 cents. The cost of diesel rose from 107 shillings and 66 cents to 115 shillings and 60 cents, while kerosene increased to 110 shillings and 82 cents from 97 shillings and 85 cents. A report site on investments attributed the hike in fuel to the removal of fuel subsidies of 7 shillings and 1 cents on super petrol, 9 shillings and 9 cents on diesel and 11 shillings and 4 cents on kerosene. The members of parliament have directed the committee to look deeper into the issue, comparing the cost of fuel in Kenya and other nations, and calling for a revision of VAT. Brian Amwai, Look Up TV, Nairobi. We were there.